Hello there, fight friends. Andy Cottero with MMA.ca here with Xavier Nash. Xavier, of course, you know who he is. He is defending his BFL lightweight title at BFL 77 in Vancouver this June 9th, which is this Friday. Xavier, you're still a whole country away from Vancouver. When are you heading there and how are you feeling right now? I'm going to be heading out Wednesday morning. And uh, yeah, I'm feeling great. Just got to finish the weight cut and I'm good to go. So speaking about weight cut, uh, some guys have a really hard time with weight cut. Some guys have an easy time. In the past, how have your weight cuts gone? One tough one like that I have in mind, but uh, I learned from it, and uh, yeah, I always make weight easy. easy. Now, when I came in today, I was expecting to meet you, but I didn't think I'd see you training on the mats, because oftentimes on fight week, fighters want to take it easy and just kind of make sure their body's lubricated and try not to hurt themselves, but you were tempted to keep on going, weren't you? Yeah, it was tempting, but uh, you know, got to listen to the coach's wisdom and uh, take it easy. I don't know, I just like staying on the mats pretty much like... Right up till Wayne's and again before the fight. Like, uh, yeah, I just like to keep moving. And uh, yeah, it's just being with training partners that I trust. And uh, yeah, that way it's like keeping minimal risk of injury. Nice. So you're fighting Achilles Estramador for the title. You're defending your title against him. He's uh, He was fairly quite uh, busy for the for several years, but in the past couple of years, he hasn't been really in the cage. So I'm sure he's got his life going on. Tell me what you think about him as an opponent and how you see this fight going. Yeah, I know he's uh, still been in the gym. He's been coaching. He's uh, coached the last guy I fought. He trains with the other guy I fought. So it's going to be three people, people straight from that gym. And uh, yeah, I think stylistically it's a good fight for me. Um, it's going to be tough, but it's probably one of the more dangerous ones that I've had. I've had uh, maybe tougher matchups, but like I said, it's going to be the most dangerous. Mm -hmm. Just he's explosive and he really goes for the kill. For sure. Now, when you take a look at you when other people take a look at Xavier Nash and they the whole thing so your record could like honestly could be a little bit better but you have faced some really tough guys you've faced tough competition it's not like some of these guys they go in there they've got a cakewalk or they're fighting tomato cans like yeah. right from the start you've been fight, fighting the highest level guys yeah my only two losses are to uh, I've only lost two fights at lightweight specifically so I have five in total but only two at lightweight and uh, yeah I had some injuries back in the day with my shoulder and stuff. I ended up getting surgery on it, and uh, since that hasn't been a problem, I'm six and one now. Yeah, I know. So the past couple of years, it just seems like something happened. There was some corner that was turned that you just elevated your game. So you talked about the shoulder injury. What else has happened? Is there some kind of mental shift where you sort of like, an, as a non-fighter, this is a legit question. I, I don't know. Do you sort of like get it at some point? Is that what happens to a fighter when like you're doing okay and then all of a sudden, boom, you're just kicking butt? Yeah, man, things can uh, definitely click. It's, uh, yeah, just finding the groove and, uh, yeah, all those fights are lessons and mm -hmm. just stepping up the training and stuff. And uh, I never got nervous for any of my, like, early fights or whatever. But the first time I ever got nervous was, like, the most I ever trained for a fight. So it's, it's all about the sacrifice because then yeah. it's, like, yeah, yeah. putting a lot of hours in the gym, missing out on family events and stuff like that. And it's, like, that's all for nothing without the, if you lose. So, but... Yeah, that was the best fight that I had. It was my first first round finish, and uh, yeah, nerves are a sign you're, you did what you need to to prepare. Yeah. If you're too relaxed, and maybe you didn't do enough in the gym, and it's like, ah, whatever, but yeah, it's feel like I, I found the flow now. Nice. So leading up to an interview, and even before that, I generally spend a lot of time on social media and other YouTube channels and social platforms researching fighters, and not only am I learning more about you, but I know you a little bit personally here, but I also learn about how other people perceive you. And the general consensus from people talking about this fight leading up is that you are a bad and scary man and you are really dangerous. So <laughs> I know it's kind of weird because you've got two lives, right? Fighters, you have like your personal life outside the cage, fight night, and then there's fight night. So uh, does that surprise you that people think that you're maybe not scary, but like a really, I don't even know what I'm asking. I'm just saying, letting you know that yeah. people acknowledge and recognize that you're a very dangerous man. Yeah. Well, yeah. Plus, like, I'm durable. And, like, even if you're good, like, it's going to be hard to get the finish. Like, that just doesn't happen in my fights. That happened one time a very long time ago. And uh, that's part of what gives me the extra push. Just have that, that one loss, it uh, sunk in there, you know? So it's like I haven't had an experience like that since. And, uh, yeah, they know it's going to be a hard pace. And it's going to get harder as the fight goes on. As always, like as I feel them out, figure them out, uh, then I have more confidence to really hit the gas. Yeah, for sure. Now, Coach Chris Prickett and Coach Matt DiMarcantonio are in BC already for Jasmine for the UFC on on Saturday night. Who's going to be in your corner on Friday night? 
on Friday night. Rob Santos is going to be in my corner. Um, yeah, yeah, that's who's going to be in my corner right now. And, and yeah, I don't know if they're going to be busy or I don't know. I wasn't ready for that. <laughs> okay, so two, two last questions. Second last question right now. Emotionally, how are you feeling right now? Like, is there a point when you're leading up to a fight that you sort of know that the fight's coming? Like, it, do you know, like there's knowing and there's knowing. So like you knew when you signed the contract this fight's coming. But does it really hit you yet mentally that, oh shit, I've got a fight coming up in a few days. Has that happened yet? Does that ever happen? Well, I've been more active the past year. So now it just feels like another day. Yeah, yeah I just uh, accept a lot less food <laughs> the last couple of weeks to make the weight. But um, yeah, no, I feel really good about it. It's a great opportunity, huge opportunity at the UFC being there on the same weekend. So I'm looking to make the most of that. Like, uh, And it's expected that Dana White and Sean Shelby, Matt Maynard, they're all going to be at BFL. Yeah, yeah, apparently they're all going to be there. So that'll be uh, an amazing experience, especially if you can like see them in the same room. Like, wow, I'll be wild. Uh, yeah, like I said, like the last like, couple of years, I've learned how to put together some wins. Now it's, uh, I got to get some finishes now. That's fantastic. Well, I'll be watching it in pay-per-view. Unfortunately, I won't be there. I'd hope to, but it's just not working out. Uh, I wish you the best of luck. And finally, before we go, is there anyone you'd like to thank before we let you go? Yeah, man, all my coaches, uh, Rob Santos, uh, Chris Prickett, uh, Stephen Barry Sims, uh, all those guys. Uh, yeah, they put a lot of work into me, and uh, yeah, I appreciate it, and it's made me the fighter I am right now. Well, Xavier, congratulations on all your preparations and hard work. Now Friday night is a chance you get to show it to the rest of the world. So fight fans, there you go. Xavier Nash defending his BFL lightweight title this Friday, June 9th in Vancouver. If you can be there in person, uh, I think it's actually sold out, but you can probably still get a couple seats here or there. Uh, and if you're not doing that, make sure you're watching it on pay-per-view. Thanks a lot.